Hello student. So here is the question on a bell drive. So let me read the question. A shaft is running at 200 RPM. So there is a one shaft. It's having a speed of 200 RPM. So generally speed and will be denoted. So it is 200 RPM and is to drive so it is nothing but this is an a driving the shaft let us say one is an a driving so it is driving with an speed of 200 rpm and it's make to drive a parallel shaft so it is making to drive with another shaft parallelly so parallel is nothing but it is an a open bell drive so that speed let us say another shaft is 2 the speed of the shaft let us say n2 here and this is n1 will say that speed is 300 rpm ok so now the pulley on the driving shaft is 60 centimeter in diameter so driving shaft diameter so this is one so we'll say diameter of the driving shaft is 60 centimeter and you need to calculate the diameter of the pulley on the driving shaft so that is d2 you need to find out so there are some condition uh, to calculate the uh, diameter of the driving shaft okay so first condition is to be neglect the belt thickness the thickness of the belt not to be considered that is the first case and in the second case by considering by taking the belt thickness means the thickness of the belt to be considered it means they have mentioned the thickness of the belt to be considered in account while uh, which is 5 mm thickness so for second case the thickness of the belt is mentioned as 5 cm in the third case assuming in the latter case in the means by referring the 192 the latter case a total slip of 4 percent means while transferring the power from one shaft to the another shaft the slips between the pulley and belt it having a 5 percentage means slips will be taken by small s so that is 4 percent is given means generally the slip can be measured in terms of percentage so that is 5 percent for sorry 4 percent is mentioned okay hope the question is clear to you now we go for calculating the thickness or uh, sorry by calculating the diameter of the drive and shaft by neglecting the thickness okay so we have the velocity equation that is for the first case you can write n2 by n1 is equal to d2 okay so d1 is 60 by d2 it means 300 by 60 into 200 ok so now the velocity equation is n2 by n1 is equal to d1 by d2 so now substitute the n2 value that is 300 by n1 is 200 is equal to d1 that is 60 by d2 is you need to find out so here d2 is equal to Sixty into two hundred by three hundred.
so we got the diameter of the driven shaft is 40 centimeter okay so this is without considering the thickness of the belt now second we'll go for by considering the thickness of the belt that is t we have to consider t is given as 5 centimeter okay so the equation again it will be n2 n1 n2 by n1 is equal to d1 plus t by d2 plus t okay so here this equation now again n2 is 300 by 200 is equal to d1 d1 is 60 plus t t is 5 centimeter divided by d2 okay so now d2 by d2 plus t so 300 by 200 into 65 is equal to 1 by d2 plus 5 okay so 300 by 200 into 65 then we got 0 0.02 here is equal to so 0 0.05 d2 plus 5 is equal to 1 okay so 0 0.02 d2 plus 0 0.02 into 5 0 0.1 is equal to 1 so d2 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 so that is 0 0.9 by 0 0.02 so we got 45 centimeter is the value of d2 okay so by considering the thickness we got 45 centimeter without considering the thickness we got 40 centimeter now again uh, the third case is by considering the slip so slip is given as 40 centimeter okay slip is given as 4 centimeter so that 4 centimeter to be considered into the account for the uh, calculating the diameter of the driven shaft so the equation for this n2 by n1 is equal to considering the thickness d1 plus t by d2 plus t again by considering the percentage of slip that is 1 minus s by 100 okay 1 minus it means 1 minus s by 100 okay so now n2 value is 300 by 200 is equal to d1 is 60 plus t is 5 by d2 plus t is 5 again 1 minus s is 4 percent so 4 divided by 100 then you need to find the d2 value so 1 minus 0 0.04 that is 0 0.96 so 300 by 200 into 0 0.96 into 65 is equal to 1 by d2 plus 5 okay so now again this total will make 300 by 
200 into 0.96 into 65 then we got 0 0.024 is equal to 1 by d2 plus 5 so now again d2 plus 5 into 0 0.024 is equal to 1 okay so 0 0.024 plus 5 into 0 0.0024 it's 0 0.024 so 0 0.12 so 1 minus 0 0.12 is equal to 0 0.88 this is d2 0 0.88 by 0 0.024 so we got